Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today I want to take a look at our third down issues. Um, third down is one of the Im most important downs in football. And you can say all the downs are important, but normally if you can win on third downs, you can extend drives and stay on the field a little longer. And that increases your opportunity to score the football. But here lately with the Ravens, we we have not been doing a good job of of staying on the field and increasing our opportunities to score touchdowns on third downs. Now, when I started with this video, I started to take a look at all the third downs. We were five for fourteen on third downs, which is I think right around thirty eight percent. And when I started doing it, I was going to look at all the third downs, but I I changed my mind. I wanted to look at third and long. So anything over third and seven is what I'm going to bring to you today because those are the plays we normally struggle with because that's when teams go to that um, zero blitz look on us. Now, the Steelers didn't do that the whole game. They did do it maybe once or twice. But for the most part, that's where the teams go to that zero blitz look on us. So I want to look at anything that was third and seven that the Steelers did on us on us and see how we, we reacted and if we handled it and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to bring you. I think I got six plays, maybe seven, of third and seven plus, and we'll uh, take a look and see how the Ravens fared on our third and long issues from Sunday versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before we get into this film, I wanted to thank all of the Patreons. This video is brought to you by all of these names that are scrolling right above my finger somewhere. So I appreciate everybody that's a patron of the channel. Uh, these guys make it possible for us to bring these videos to you. So if you want to help out and be a member of the Patreon, go to patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon. A ton of perks for being a Patreon. Um, one could be the sip the tally uh, chalice, purple Kool-Aid chalice. Others could be getting the discord and become a member that way. So if you feel free, please do so. But let's get to the film. All right, let's get started. So our first third down. Third, and remember, everything is third and seven plus. This one was third and ten. Third and ten. You see the markers right here. Third and ten. And again, this is one of our drops. Zay's wide open. Busted pass. Zero for one. Matter of fact, make make a note of it. Zero for one. Uh, there's really no excuse. No excuse for what went on. Good play design. Um, for the most part, it was executed by everybody but Zay. O line blocked. Everybody ran a good route. He just dropped the earned ball. It's that simple. One of nine drops in my eyes. I know a lot of people say seven, but my count say nine. Another third down. Now, I say this one is third and 11. Third and 11. Successfully got this one. I think this is, this is right after the two-minute warning. Successfully got this one. Third and 11 right after the two-minute warning. Deep over at the mark. Got a little curl around by Odell. Got the over route coming up under it. I don't know what what's going on right here. And I guess this is the check down. But again, something that, that has worked in the past is what's working now. The deep over route to Mark. But we've seen that over and over again. Where the new stuff at? All right. So we one for one. I'm sorry. We one for two. One for two. My bad. One for two on anything over third and seven. All right. We third and that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I thought third and 18. Third and 18. And we get it. And we get it. It's crazy, ain't it? Third and 18 and we get it. Got you two check downs, but we don't want it because we're trying to get that first down. 
You got a vertical up here that they're not really covering. You got Odell running the vertical right here. They kind of lose Zay Flowers right here because Lamar's scrambling. And Zay just kind of sits in this hole. Lamar sets his, Lamar's right here. He's going to stop, set his shoulders, and deliver a bullet to Zay. He's going to set his feet. Throws a dime to Zay. It's a good job. And if he don't set his feet, that ball don't get there. If he don't set his feet, he don't, he don't make an accurate throw. It's a good job of setting his feet. That right there. Bam. Two for three. Anything over third and seven. If not mistaken, this might be the same drive. This is third and third and ten, same drive. Third and ten, same drive. And we just completed that, so now it's fourth and two. But this is third and ten, that same drive. This is an eight yard catch to Aguilar. But see, like this play right here, I'm cool with because you run this on the normal. Sometimes Sometimes this, if you throw this ball in front of him, they can catch this ball. If he throws it in front of him, he can catch this and get another two yards. Or he can break that and get something else. Yeah, I understand this ball is behind him. Aguilar made a good catch. I understand that. But, some, you know, in a normal situation, if we can complete this ball, we can get a first down. We can get a first down. It's, it's the times when we have these situations that we don't complete the pass and we just don't have a chance. Because a lot of times this is when teams go to that blitz zero look and we just look totally discombobulated. But I'll take this, and it puts us at fourth and two. I'll take this, and this is where the fiasco happened with the field goal and whatnot. But I'll take this on, on third and ten because that puts us at fourth and two, and we, you have options. You have options. This is like a third and forever that we just did a draw on. Oh, let, me, let me see. We're two and four. And then this third and fail makes us two and five. Another third and this is what third and eight. Third and about eight. Yeah, third and third and seven, eight. The, the sticks down here at the bottom. It's at the end. I feel like dude now you gotta have that. We can't run you can't run but three in a route because we gotta cause fall lay lay in, so you gotta pass you gotta try to hit pass pro up there. So you got a vertical here, you got a vertical here, and you got Dubonet trying to work the middle right there. He gets his hand on it. You gotta come down with that. You get two hands on, you gotta come down with that. Got to. I understand it's tough. You get two hands on that. The quarterback hits you in that window. You got to come down with that. You got to. You got to. But you got Duvernay, who's 5'9". You got Zay, who's 5'6". Then you got Odell, who's an older cat out there. You ain't got a lot of athleticism out there right now, other than than four. And, again, he's 5'6". So, what you going to do? So, in my eyes, anything that's – over third and seven, we were two of six, which is 33%, and that's not good. That's not going to win you a boatload of games. It's not going to win you a boatload of games, and, and as a parent is, we lost this one. Especially in the second half, we were not very good on third down. We were not very good in a lot of places offensively. Offensively. Lamar was good. A lot of other people were not. Eight was good in a lot of places. Like this, this throw right here. That throw was on the money. You got to be caught. But hopefully, you know, they getting it correct over there in London and we see a lot better than what we saw uh, Sunday. We'll have the stage to ourselves Sunday morning for the people that will be up. So we'll see. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, we on the road to 10K, man. So I appreciate everybody for coming through and um, see y'all soon, man. Coach Evans out. Peace.